One of the most important things in Power World, if not the most important, is being able to make cakes. Today, I'm gonna to show you guys how to get unlimited amount of cakes. I'm gonna give you two viable options, but I'm gonna give you my preferred method that you should be striving to, to get to make a base like this. This pretty much automates cake making really fast, really easy. The great thing about this is once you have it set up, all you gotta do is sit back, relax, and just bake as many cakes as you possibly want. Making cakes are really important, guys, because that's gonna enhance your ability of being able to breathe different pals to make really powerful pals in addition to that to make this setup now there is a bit of misinformation on how this setup works so i want to clear that out and i'm pretty sure by the time you get done watching this video you're gonna definitely have learned something new so with that being said guys let's take a look at how the base works and what you're gonna need to do in order to get this set up all right guys so let's talk about what we're gonna need to do to automate this so the first thing that i want to point out is the things that we have going for us we have almost all of these guys at 100 percent sanity and as you guys notice them none of them are actually going to the pool to take a bath and that is extremely important because this is what's going to make this automation a lot faster now we also have a farm set up here which is for our breathing uh this is going to be extremely important later on but the main thing we want to automate here is the cake farm now there are two methods of actually doing this i'm going to give you the method the uh, the alternative method and i'm going to explain this method in general the alternative method is instead of you guys having a cow right and having a chicken to create eggs and to create uh, the milk you could theoretically buy this off the vendor basically you just go capture a vendor and then you're just going to use my money method, which is selling the nails or selling the cloth that I have here on the channel. You're more than welcome to check out that video whenever you get a chance and sell the nails and for coins or for gold coins and then use the gold coins to buy them off the merchant. That method's pretty good, but I believe this method is way, way better because this is more like you can literally just sit back, relax and make yourself a bunch of cakes. If I show you guys exactly how many cakes I already have going here, it's 471. That's pretty good. 51, sorry. And as you guys hear, there's still a lot of milk, there's still a lot of honey, uh, a lot of eggs going on. So let's explain the process of what's going on. So to explain the process, just for those of you guys who are currently new to the channel, or currently new to the stream, the first thing you guys need to do is you're going to need to know what you need to make cake. So you're going to need flour, red berries, milk, eggs, and honey. Now to make the flour, that's pretty easy. You basically just need to make uh, the patches that create the, uh, that create the planting of the wheat. And once that wheat is made and harvested, it's converted into flour once you come to this mill. So you're going to need this mill in order to make the flour happen. But the first thing you're going to need, guys, is you're going to need this. You're going to need that. You're going to need this. And you're also going to need... I'll show you guys what those are real quick. And you're also going to need the flour plantation, which is back here, to speed up the process. Okay, basically what those do... If we go to the technology tree. All right, so once we get to level 25, you guys are gonna be able to get the silo structure. Basically, this is just gonna improve the planting efficiency. So that's gonna make your uh, piles plant more. And what this allows you to do, it allows you to not use too many piles in planting and still get the same benefit. You're also gonna use the flower bed, which is gonna increase the gathering speed of the pals. You're also gonna use the water fountain, which is gonna increase the watering of the pals. And you are also going to use the flame cauldron, which is going to increase the kindling of your pals. And I also use the large tool to the handiwork. This I mostly use because when you start building the base, you want to make sure that things get built really fast. And that is basically what you're using. Now, let me show you how quick this goes. So you guys can get an idea of how fast we're actually able to automate this. Once you have the materials and once you have the stuff in your inventory, you're going to see how fast this goes. So we're going to create 58 flowers. So in order to click the eight flowers, German Tite's going to come over here. And he's going to come and do his thing. He's actually watering over there. But once he gets to this part, come on, buddy. Once he gets to this part, you'll see how fast this goes. Check this out. Look at this. It is just crazy, crazy fast. Because what we're doing here is we're using the right build and the right stats to be able to enhance it. And I'm going to explain that a little bit further right now in the video. And th that's where there's a little bit of misconception uh, when it comes to this. Because some people use the wrong stats. And those stats are not beneficial for what we're trying to do here, which is just pretty much farming. So we're going to let this complete here. This is a 58 flour. We're going to take it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come here. And now we're going to bake some cake. Now this cake is extremely important. We're going to be able to do that. So we have 54 cakes that we're able to do. Now German Tide's over there. And hopefully he's not stuck. If you do happen to get him stuck like that, all you got to do is come to your pal box and get him unstuck. Okay. 
So we're gonna come here and we're gonna grab him right here and get him unstuck. And now he's gonna go do the cakes. So let's go, German Tide. Let's do the cakes, buddy. So he's gonna come here and do the cakes. And look how fast he's doing the cakes, guys. It's just really, really fast, uh, you know, automation here that we got going here. Another thing that's gonna be crucial that you guys are gonna need is this right here, which you are gonna need salad. Now, salad's extremely important because what you're gonna need to do with salad is you're gonna need to be able to use this to increase the workflow of your pals. And as you see here, one of the great things, the reason why you want two kitchens is because as he's creating the cakes, he's also creating the salad as well. It's not going as fast, but some of the um, the smoke he's blowing or some of the fire he's blowing is transitioning over to this, uh, you know, um, this kitchen. And that's making the cakes. Basically, what I like to do is I like to make some cakes here, some cakes here, and some cakes here, or some salad. All of them start working at the same time. And when he gets done with this one, he moves to this one and so forth and so forth. It just beats the process just a little bit. I mean, three of these are a little bit overkill. I think two are, should be perfectly fine. Now, the reason why we're doing this is because what we're doing to increment the speed and workflow is we're using the salads. And basically what the salads do is that when someone eats the salad, it improves the work speed for a period of time. Basically, every single time someone comes and eats from the salad bowl, they're going to be able to increase the speed of their workflow. Now, what we did is we also piled cotton candy at the end of this one. The reason we did this is because the way this works is whatever is in the first slot of the of the eating portion here, that is what's going to be eaten. Now, the reason we put these here is so nothing else gets placed in here and nothing else gets eaten. The only thing we want to be eaten are the salad. And this is extremely important whenever you do this to be able to get this done. Now we have two sets of them exactly set up the same way to be able to do this, all right? So we got the salad here, we got the cotton candy. Now, I went ahead and added a fridge here. You do not need a fridge, it could actually be anything else. This is just to make sure things stay a little bit cooler. We also went ahead and added the electricity here. Now you don't need that because you could theoretically do this setup without electrical equipment. So instead of having those electrical kitchens, you could just have a little uh, fire camp and uh, those don't need electricity, as so you can just set up three of them, and you don't need electricity at all. So that's going to save you a ton. Now, let's talk about the stuff that we need to do in order to expedite this really fast. So we're going to go to our pal box, and within our pal box, we're going to see the characters we have. So the characters we have right here, let me move these out of the way. The characters we have here, guys, is we have an, a, a Anubis. Now, the reason we have the Anubis is because all his main job here is, is gathering. Now, the great thing about the Anubis is that a lot of people tend to put the wrong stats when it comes to Anubis. Remember, this is a farm method to make a lot of cakes. And the passive skills that people put on here are really bad. You want to use these passive skills because these passive skills are going to allow you to increment the speed that he gathers and implement the speed of him making cake. So we have Swift here, which is going to increase the movement speed. We have Nimble, once again moving fast. We have Runner, which is increasing the movement speed. And we have Legendary, which is increasing the movement speed. What that does, it allows him to do what he's doing right here. Look how fast he's moving and how fast he's gathering the stuff. Because basically what you want to do is you want to make sure that all that stuff is in your inventory. So when you need to go cook those cakes, it's already available for you guys. All right. That's one important thing that I see a lot of people make mistakes. They put workaholic on him and stuff like that. Remember, he's not here to work. He's just here to gather. And if you guys have one set up like this, you only need one. So that's what makes this really effective. It's, it's not too taxing as far as characters are concerned. It's only taxing on being able to, you know, kind of roll the right stats on him. So we have Swift, we have Runner, we have Legend, we have Nimble on him, which gave us the ability to be able to get those done. Now, of course, granted, this takes a little bit of grinding to get those passive skills, but I have a video on how to make sure you guys are passing the right skills, which I'll link down below in the description here so you guys can know exactly how we do it. The next thing we have, which is another misconception, is the way this works. Okay, so the way this works is for this one, we have the passive skills, which is workaholic, which is going to drop the sanity drop rate of the cow. What this allows you to do, it allows you to work without eating and without having to take a break and sitting on the hot tub because it's just going to constantly have less sanity drop, right? We also have diet lover, which is going to decrease the hunger by 15%. This is going to reduce the amount that the cow needs to go or mozzarella to go and eat. So that means she's, what does that do? She's producing more milk. 
We also have Artisan, which is going to increase the work speed. And we have Positive Tinker, which is going to drop the 10% lower the Sanity Drop. Now, one misconception people have on here is they go into the condenser and they go and spend points on work speed and they cap it out, you know, to the work speed at 10. Unfortunately, guys, one thing I want to let you guys know, even if you cap the work speed for the cow or for the chicken, it's not going to increase the speed that it's actually doing. The only thing that increases the amount of items you get are the four level stars and that's why my stuff is all four level now this requires a lot of grinding because you're going to need to get a lot of cows you're going to need to get a lot of chickens what i personally recommended the way i did this because i brought this one from my other base is you want to constantly be doing this as you go so you get a cow you make sure you get the passive skills you want once you have the passive skills that you want you then start incrementing one star and then you go to another star and then you go to another start. You know, you just want to slowly progress and you don't want to have like a tedious grind where you're like, oh my goodness, I have to go get over 200 cows to be able to get one good cow. Uh, you basically just want to make sure, you know, you're slowly taking your time uh, because this is a process. And once you have the right amount of characters, then you're going to need less characters to do the work, which makes it really good. So, for example, if you have a cow that doesn't have this, then you just add more cows to your farm. To kind of make the same process but once you have the right setup like I do here you just need less cows I only have two cows doing the work now theoretically if I want to do more I could add an additional cow but I think two cows makes it optimal basically what you want to do once you have it set up uh, just get yourself three cows and then once you have these stats perfectly rolled onto them just reduce the cows and it's still gonna produce the same amount of stuff now for the chickens we have the same thing as well we have diet lover workaholic, positive thinker, and artisan. What that does, as you guys see right there, they don't go and take a break. They just keep producing eggs, producing milk, producing eggs, producing milk. Now, the other thing that we have is we have a Lilin. Now, the great thing about Lilin is all she's here to do is to plant. That's all she's here to do is to plant and to gather. Uh, basically, what you want to do with her is you want to put the same skills. Once again, artisan, work speed, uh, sanity drop so she doesn't take a break. Uh, you know, uh, Once again, sanity drop as well here and less eating. So she's just constantly working at the base. A lot of people want to put speed on her or and that just doesn't work out, guys. You just want to make sure that she's constantly working. okay? And that makes it really important because you want to make sure that she's producing the amount of work that she needs to do. Now, once again, the main thing here is you want to level the stars because the stars are going to increase her planting, which is what we really, really want. Now, on her, you could actually upgrade the work speed. I haven't updated the work speed yet, but the work speed should help her uh, plant a little bit faster, which makes it extremely, extremely important. It's not going to help her gather, but it's going to help her plant a little bit faster. And this, I still got to go ahead and take her back to my other base and pass those uh, skills onto her. Now, with that being said, let's talk about what we have as far as the water. Now, this is what I'm sure you guys are here. This is the top of the top. I'm going to tell you guys after this what I recommend if you don't have these characters. Okay, so we have German Tide. Now, the great thing of German Tide, the only reason we have them here is for watering. Okay, watering is the only reason we have them here. Once again, with the same active skills here. And like I said, if you guys want to know how I'm able to pass these skills onto the characters, you're going to want to make sure you check out that video, guys. Tell me, trust me, it's going to save you a ton of time. Um, uh, next thing we have is the four stars as well. This is just going to increase his water from four to five. And this just makes it go faster. As you guys saw how fast I was able to do the uh, flower there. It's extremely important, okay? Uh, you don't need it, but it's a bit of overkill. But it's just to... That's, this is kind of the end goal you want to shoot for. Uh, next up, guys, we have German Tide again. English German Tide, which is the fire one, with the same skills. And we have the four stars as well. And this one does have Workaholic. This just increases the kindling to five. So it makes it go really, really fast. And we only have two of these, which we only have one character for water, one character for kindling. It reduces the amount of bets you need to make. Uh, and just makes it go faster. Now, theoretically, you don't need these guys. So you don't need the Rayhound or an electricity character. And you don't need the uh, Jolt Hog for the, uh, for the fridge. You could actually do without these and maybe add more bees or add more cows or add more chickens. Uh, the only reason I have this is because mine's just running off of electricity. But like I said, you could run yours that 
without electricity and you guys will be perfectly fine all right guys so for kindling the ones i would recommend is anything that's three or higher so you have uh blasphemoth or you have phalaris and then german type those are the ones i would recommend if you're trying to do the kindling that should get the job done without a problem all right for watering the ones i recommend is Asrob. this is definitely an easy find in the game you could also breathe them if you want to. Uh, Jormantite is definitely the one that I, I preferably prefer. He's a level 4. Uh, but these are level 3s that should be able to do the, the job done. Sasaku Aqua is actually pretty good as well. So these are the ones you could actually go ahead and get if you don't have yourselves a Jormantite. Now as far as planting is concerned, the ones I recommend is Broncherry, uh, Patilia, and Lin. These are the top notch that you want to get. Basically these are level 3 and higher. And those are the ones you want to roll with if you're trying to go ahead and get to the planting. Now that you know how to make cake, now it's time for you to make the most powerful pals in the game. So check out this video that's popping up right now on the screen. It goes into detail and tells you what breathing options you have and who you need to make to get the best pals in the game. I hope you guys are enjoying our content here on the channel. If you are doing the huge favor, guys, drop a comment, drop a like. But most importantly, subscribe, turn those notifications so you guys won't miss when our videos go live. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one.